Hi students, welcome to my YouTube channel Gupta's Chemistry Classes. Today my topic is degree of unsaturation. Degree of unsaturation. This degree of unsaturation is also called index of hydrogen deficiency IHD. For this another name is double bond equivalence and it is also called unsaturation factor. Okay. Now, what is degree of unsaturation? What is degree of unsaturation? Here, its definition is number of pairs of hydrogen deficient when compared with the corresponding saturated compound. Degree of unsaturation of a compound is the number of Pairs of hydrogen deficient when compared with the corresponding saturated compound. Number of pairs of hydrogen deficient when compared with the corresponding saturated compound. That is the definition. Now, how to calculate degree of unsaturation? First, from the data, from the definition. If you know the for a compound formula given. We know the corresponding hydrocarbon molecular formula, saturated hydrocarbon molecular formula. By calculating the difference in number of hydrogens, you can calculate the degree of unsaturation. Next, another formula. Degree of unsaturation equal to number of pi bonds in the given compound plus number of rings in the given compound. So, sum of the number of pi bonds in the given compound plus number of rings in the given compound. Sum of these two will give the degree of unsaturation of that compound. Why like that? For example, you take this example. You take this example. See, now this is the saturated compound. This is the saturated compound. Saturated. No multiple bonds are there. Now, if you want to put one pi bond, now remove two hydrogens. In place of that, one pi bond we have to put. So, for each pi bond, we have to less two hydrogens from the corresponding saturated compound. Next. Now, it is open chain compound now. If you want to convert it into cyclic compound, if you want to form the ring, now remove these two hydrogens, remove these two hydrogens and put a single bond. Now it is cyclic compound. So, while the formation of a ring also, due to each ring, we have to less two hydrogens. Due to each pi bond, we have to less two hydrogens from the saturated compound. That's why, for Degree of unsaturation, what is the formula? Number of pi bonds plus number of rings. Next. It is the formula when, if you know the structure, if they give the molecular formula, what is the formula for degree of unsaturation? If they give the molecular formula of the compound, then what is the formula? Sigma n into v minus 2 by 2 plus 1. What is N? N is the number of atoms of that element. What is V? What is V? Common valency. Common valency of that element. Uh, now, see, common valency. For fourth group element carbon, common valency, group number only, 4. For fifth group elements, common valency, 8 minus group number, 8 minus 5, 3. So, for nitrogen and phosphorus, 5th group elements, 8 minus 5, 3. 6th group element, oxygen sulfur, common valency, 8 minus group number, 2. For halogens and for hydrogen also, common valency, 1. 8 minus 7, 1 is the common valency for halogens. For hydrogen also, common valency, 1. So, when the molecular formula of the compound is given, with this formula, you can find the degree of unsaturation. 
at that time in that procedure you have to know this common valences generally in the organic compound carbon hydrogen nitrogen oxygen phosphorus halogens these will present generally so it is the formula these are the formula now come to the examples here i am going to explain five examples now come to this one c10 h8 what is the degree of unsaturation what is the degree of unsaturation of this compound now see first 10 carbons alkane what is the molecular formula alkanes general molecular formula cn h2n plus 2 10 carbons saturated hydrocarbon that is 10 carbons alkane formula c10 h22 so in the 10 carbons saturated compound 22 hydrogens should be there but here 8 hydrogens only so how many are deficient 22 minus 8 14 in means how many pairs seven pairs so degree of unsaturation is 7 degree of unsaturation is 7 it is naphthalene it is the naphthalene for this degree of unsaturation unsaturation is 7 see with this formula also you will get the same answer how many pi bonds are there 1 2 3 4 5 pi bonds how many rings two rings 5 plus 2 7 so in both the way you will get the same answer now come to this cinnamaldehyde here cinnamaldehyde source is cinnamon it is the flavoring agent we use in making the biryani cinnamon dalchin chakka in telugu uh, now what is the degree of unsaturation of this cinnamaldehyde degree of unsaturation or index of hydrogen deficiency now here structure provided na based on the structure you can find the degree of unsaturation with this formula how many pi bonds are there in double bond one sigma one pi bond na 1 2 3 pi bonds 4 5 pi bonds 5 pi bonds plus 1 2 3 4 5 pi bonds plus one ring so degree of unsaturation of this cinnamaldehyde degree of unsaturation of this cinnamaldehyde is 6 now come to the third example benadryl it is the cough syrup for cough we use this one it is the structure of benadryl now structure given by giving the structure they are asking the degree of unsaturation see this type of questions they may ask in je means je advance for neat exam also it is uh, they may ask for neat exams for mset students for um, engineering students je means and uh, je advance in mset possibility less now structure given na degree of unsaturation how many pi bonds 1 2 3 pi bonds 1 2 3 pi bonds totally 6 pi bonds plus number of rings 1 plus 1 so 6 pi bonds plus 2 rings so degree of unsaturation of this cough syrup benadryl is 8 now come to the familiar very important example at present for this drug much importance is there hydroxychloroquine this hydroxychloroquine is the anti malarial drug at present it is the most effective drug to give to give treatment for corona virus at present we don't know the new drugs at present this hydroxychloroquine anti malarial drug only the effective medicine for corona virus now what is the degree of unsaturation what is the degree of unsaturation of this hydroxychloroquine if they give the structure structure given na? now how many pi bonds 1 2 3 4 5 pi bonds how many rings 2 So five plus two seven, for example. If structure not given, if they give the molecular formula, then how to calculate? 
Now I will calculate with molecular formula. Uh, see, it is the formula. Now, number of carbon atoms 18 into common valency of the carbon. Common valency of the carbon 4. 4 minus 2 plus number of hydrogen atoms. Number of hydrogen atoms 26. Common valency of the hydrogen 1 minus 2 plus 3 nitrogen atoms 3 into nitrogen common valency 3 3 minus 2 plus 1 oxygen atom is there oxygen common valency oxygen common valency 2 minus 2 plus 1 chlorine atom is there its common valency common valency 1 1 minus 2 whole divided by 2 plus 1 whole divided by 2 plus 1. Now, 18 twos are 36. Next, here it is minus 1. Minus 1 into 26. Minus 26. It is 3. It is 0. It is minus 1 by 2 plus 1. Now, this one, how much? 39 minus 27. 39 minus 27, 12 by 2, 6 plus 1, 7. So, its degree of unsaturation is 7. Now, you calculate with the structure also, 3 plus 2, 5 pi bonds are there, 2 rings are there. So, 5 plus 2, 7. So, in both the procedures, you will get the same answer. Now, come to the third example, fifth example. Benzyl penicillin. Penicillin, it is familiar drug now. Now, benzyl penicillin. Here, penicillin C9, H11, O4, N2SR. That is the penicillin formula. But different types of penicillins are there. When R is benzyl group, then that is called benzyl penicillin. If the structure given, you can find the degree of unsaturation. For example, Based on the structure, what is the degree of unsaturation? One, how many pi bonds? One, two, three, four, five, six pi bonds. Six. How many rings? One, two, three. Six plus three, nine is the degree of unsaturation. For example, if structure not given, this molecular formula given, what is that? C16, H18, N2, O4, yes, it is the structure of benzyl penicillin. Now, what is the degree of unsaturation? Now, we have to apply this formula now. Sigma N into V minus 2, whole divided by 2 plus 1. Now, see, 16 carbons are there. 16 into common valency of the carbon, 4. 4 minus 2, 4 minus 2, 2 plus 18 hydrogens are there. Common valency of hydrogen 1. 1 minus 2, minus 1. Next, 2 nitrogens are there. 2 nitrogens are there. 2 nitrogens. Now, nitrogen common valency 3. 3 minus 2, 1. Uh, 4 into uh, nitrogen, uh, oxygen common valency 2. 2 minus 2, 0. 2 minus 2, 0. Plus 1 sulfur, 1 sulfur, 1 sulfur atom. Sulfur common valency 2. 2 minus 2, 0. This whole divided by 2 plus 1. Whole divided by 2 plus 1. 2 plus 1. Now see, 6, uh, 16 twos are 32. Minus 18, minus 18, minus 18. Plus, plus 1. How much? 9. So, in this way, we have to calculate the degree of unsaturation. So, clear students, it is the degree of unsaturation. Okay, degree of unsaturation over. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon to get all my notifications. Bye students. 
next i will come with a good another video bye